Libby Penman was brought up in Kirkcaldy, now lives in Glasgow, and thanks to a visit to see her twin sister in New York, she's been exploring the world of urban adventures. Living in cities is one of the hardest places to have access to adventure sports that connect us to the outdoors. But the majority of people live in cities, and I'm not just talking about in Scotland, the majority of people in the world now live in urban spaces. So what about a super city? Finally, I've got a trip planned to catch up with my ultimate adventure buddy. And that's my twin sister, Pip, who lives in New York City. So this is my twin, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, I've lived in New York for about four years now. And well, it's pretty different from where we grew up. I slightly more mental than size. Well, we're not in Kansas. Well, Kirkcaldy anymore. We want to explore this idea it's common to feel disconnected from the wild when you live in a concrete jungle. So Pip is going to show me some of her favourite ways to adventure in the city. Skateboarding is definitely the ultimate urban adventure sport. It's an awesome way to get around the city and also an exciting way to keep active. Skateboarding in Scotland is getting more popular but I would love to see it like it is in New York. So popular and so much more diverse. I'd love to see more women and other people rep in Scotland. Skateboarding is not always a relaxing walk in the park sort of sport, but in its own way, it is great for escaping the city hustle and bustle. We skate havens in the middle of the city are amazing places to just go and unwind. Where are we, Pip? We're on the Hudson River and we're about to do some free kayaking. Free in New York? I know, I know. It's totally volunteer run and it's just all about giving city people easy access to outdoor adventure. I love it. So we've gotten at least half a million people on the water and since our inception. I personally do this because there's rarely anything free and fun to do in New York City, so this is the exception. You think people need more outdoor activities? Is that a trick question? <laughs> of course. <laughs> It's the Bonnie Bonnie Banks of New York City! This is epic! I know, it's not often you're on the water looking at the Freedom Tower. You definitely usually expect the more natural scenery, some rolling hills, but yeah, this is pretty special having the skyscrapers all around you, and it is, it is very peaceful out here. I know, it's a different kind of peace, and I think you need it more, especially when you live in the city. My New York holiday proved to me that by adapting the way we view urban spaces, adventures are never too far away. So what about back home? Aside from it being unreal to hang out with my twin again in the Big Apple, that trip gave me a lot to think about. For starters, would it really be so hard to get some free kayaking here on the Clyde? 